I got into cricket probably the same way that most kids do, most Australian kids, um, playing in the backyard with my brothers. Um, my two older brothers and then my younger brother when he came along. So we had some ding dong battles in the, in the backyard playing test match cricket and um, trying to replicate the, the Australian players of the time, sort of through the, the early 90s. Um, they're, they're probably the fondest memories that I have of cricket as well. Probably when I was about eight years old, uh, it was with the, the local team that my brothers have been playing for, the Illawarra Catholic Club. Um, still hold some very fond memories of, of when I played uh, with that club and um, yeah, it, it was good fun. It was um, always with the boys, there was no other girls around so I sort of didn't really um, know too many other female cricketers until, until I got a little bit older. It was probably, I was about 16 when I started playing uh, in an all-female team. Um, it was the first year of the, the Brewer Shield, um, which is part of the grade competition now. So a lot of the young girls that are coming through the pathways now play in that competition. Um, and I was in one of, one of the first teams, um, which, which was pretty special. And we, we ended up winning um, the tournament that year, which was also really special. So that was my first introduction into you know, all female cricket, which was a little bit strange for me, but at the same time, it was really exciting. Yeah, I guess coming through um, with my cricket, it was a little bit different to a lot of the younger girls these days. I sort of didn't really know that there were um, academy programs or, or New South Wales um, underage teams. So it wasn't until I played, uh, or a, a teacher at my school actually told me about um, tryouts for the New South Wales Combined Catholic Colleges team. Uh, went along to those tryouts, uh, was lucky enough to get selected in the team when I was in year 10. And then from there it kind of, um, yeah, I guess skyrocketed in a way. It was all really quick. I got selected in the New South Wales under 19 squad from there and then selected in the team uh, when I was about 17. So a lot of the girls these days start when they're about, you know, 14 through the under 15s, but I was a little bit of a, a late bloomer in that regard. Yeah, I, I think it's really exciting. It's something that um, I guess as uh, coming through uh, playing cricket as, um, as a youngster, it was something you could only dream of or, or imagine that it, that it would be one day you'd be able to pull on a, a magenta shirt or, or even a New South Wales shirt, um, those types of things. So, you know, it, it's a really exciting time for women's sport, but um, more so for women's cricket. And um, it was such a, an amazing year last year and hopefully it uh, gets bigger and better for BBL. Uh, number two. Still working full time, um, even though it's only four days a week, uh, but I can commit myself to, to one day a week where I can call myself a professional cricketer and um, get in extra training sessions, um, extra skill sessions, and make sure that I'm doing all the right things to get myself ready uh, for when we do play. And, um, you know, it's good to have that one day off a week where I can sort of just solely focus on, on me and, and how I want to end up being as a, as a cricketer. I would definitely recommend cricket to young girls. Um, it's a great team sport. You make so many friends out of it, um, lifelong friends, and it, it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. There's so many different aspects to it, um, so many different skills, um, and it's just, it's great fun.